hello. I am going to walk you through the work together on page 449 for 15-2. And what you have here is the adjustment data and your unadjusted trial balance. So your merchandise inventory account balance is 98 or 94845.31. So our adjustment data says that from a physical count of merchandise inventory, the December 31st balance is determined to be 96471. And it was again 94. So what do I know about inventory? It went from 94 up to 96. So I know that I am going to debit merchandise inventory because I need it to go up. And the credit's always going to be to income summary. It's not necessarily always going to be a credit, but the other side of the account is income summary. And I'm just taking the difference between those two amounts, and I would get 1625.94. 1625.94. And just to make sure you get it, it's going from 94,845.31 up to 96,471.25. So it went up $1,625.94. And we determine that ending number based on a physical count or a physical inventory. Then the second adjustment we have to do, it says we have a single note receivable. It is outstanding on December 31st. The 90-day 8% note was signed on November 22nd. Journalize the adjusting interest entry for interest receivable. So I have to compute the interest. And to compute the interest, the first thing I need is the principal. And it said we only had one of these. So it's an $8,000 note. I will multiply principal times rate. And the rate it told me was 8%. And then I need to multiply that times my time element. So the time element that I have to figure out is I have this note from November 22nd to December 31st, which is when I'm making my adjustment. So I have earned income from November 22nd to December 31st. So I've earned eight days in November because there's 30 total. So I earned eight days in November and I earned 31 in December. So a total of 39 days. So I take 39 divided by 360. So to repeat then, to calculate the amount of my adjustment, I take the $8,000 principal times 0.08 for the rate times 39 divided by 360. And if I did that, the amount that I would get if I could round, well, is 69.33. And the accounts that I know that I need for that is a debit to interest receivable, because I haven't collected that yet. And then I have earned, sorry, I'm in the wrong cell. I have earned my interest income for those 39 days of this amount. So I will increase my revenue account by crediting it. And that is my two adjustments for merchandise inventory and interest receivable.